Welcome back to Star Trek Online, everybody. I am your host, the House Code Gamer, and today we're taking a look at the new event ship, the Rex Alliance Escort. From above, it looks like a well, well, from above and somewhat at a distance, it looks like a Defiant with a rounded rear end. But when you flip it over and you start realizing the cells aren't completely connected to the whole body of the ship, and they're held on pylons. That is that the first third or first quarter? Either way, it's more like a bug ship with some defiant elements. And, uh, you can understand how I feel a little confused about that, but, what the hell? It's basically a Dominion ship with some Starfleet elements. Named after Dukan Rex, of all people. And it's a strange boat. Note, I haven't taken this ship into combat yet, but considering its stats, I wouldn't be surprised how it handled. Basically, the legendary bug ship. And here's where things get confusing. A Polaron weapon in the experimental weapon slot. Well, it seems to be based on anti-proton. Does, does this make any sense to anyone? Why wouldn't you put an anti-proton weapon in there? This is something that could be used for a Dominion tune. Because all their stuff basically goes, let's keep improving Polaron weapons. I know Polaron is somewhat popular for all factions, but the Dominion really goes hard into it, so this is only useful, truly useful, for them. Five forward weapons, two aft, basically the same layout as the legendary bug ship, with a similar loadout, I believe, in science and engineering con science, engineering, and tactical consoles. I haven't played around with the Dominion for a while, so. Guess I was wrong. Oh well. But yeah, that's basically everything about that. As for its tree, as for its loadout, Miracle Worker, Worker Tactical, Pilot Engineering, strange, but what the hell? A almost useless science console, but then again, this is a tactical boat. It's designed to deal damage, not do space magic. A universal lieutenant commander, which is for the course, and tactical commander. As for console, Elite Alliance Squadron Beacon. Basically summons every version of Defiant, Burrell, basically every ship in that little sat. And her stra ship trait, Inertial Supremacy. Okay, so the faster you go, the more damage resistance they lose. When firing, torpedo spread, beam fire at will, that sort of thing. If it works as advertised, and this is cryptic, so maybe, maybe not. We'll find out. But let's take a look at this thing's features that aren't advertised on the freaking stat page. A standard cloaking device and vanguard abilities. So it's basically a Jem'Hadar vanguard boat with the wrong weapon weapons installed at start. 
let's be honest. If you're going to include a pole a weapon that ties into damage, into a damage type, make it actually fit with the weapon ins installed on the boat. It would be like installing a disruptor can, something that improves disruptor damage, on a Federation ship. A Romulan one I can understand, they're supposed to use disruptors. But this ship is apparently supposed to use anti-proton weapons. Why not put in Polaron instead? Oversight on the devs part? I don't know. And frankly, an extra Polaron weapon for a Jem'Hadar escort ship is not something I'm going to complain about. I will comment, however, on the strangeness that the polar opposite, anti-proton and polaron, are part of the same damage group. Just polar opposites of one another. It's just strange. What do you think? While I haven't taken the ship into battle, I am pretty familiar with the Defiant and the Bug ship, so... This will probably... this handles like both. So, what do you think? Leave your thoughts in the comments. How's good gaming? Signing off.